Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, HaRakakodash, a double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yaakim, bringing out the words of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in diligence and in truth. Hey, and you know, just just listen to this, man. You know, hey, it's, it's sickening. You know, because though, you know, although, you know, Terrence Crawford is a, um, a unified champ, you know, within two boxing divisions, you know, it show you the, 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 just the, the hatred, hey, the hatred, hey, the, the end up has for, for the, the, the seed that comes from her womb, man, this, that was sickening to, to, to watch, you know, and this, this is on World Star, you know, you can watch the whole thing, I ain't gonna play it all, hey, for, for copyright reasons, but nevertheless, man, this is, just watching this one minute, however long clip was sickening, man. And you can see she has, the remorse isn't even there. You know, it's no love. And and that's why the apostles say what they say, because a, they've had experience and they, they've seen it. A, and the scriptures dictate it plainly. How the women of our nation are, man. That's why Yahweh Bashim is going to do a lot of, a, bring a lot of judgment a towards the the women of our nation man now we know the men gonna get it as well first peter 4 and 17 hey but when you go into ezekiel 9 it tells you a hey, maids young women maids and little children man right but this just goes to show you man his father was the one that say hey you're gonna a hey, his father man let's uh it's another precept that says um uh Curse of the mother. Rudest out foundations. It says the father established the household. So lucky. Yeah, this rock three and nine for the blessing of the father established the house, the houses of the children. Right, and because a father, you know, they tend to, um, you know, pass on the traits and the trade. In which, you know, they were, um, you know, um, skilled in until that, that seed, that son, you know, in order for that son, you know, to continue that legacy and be able to, to uh, move out from his father's house, you know, get his wife and to continue, you know, being a prosperous, you know, a uh, uh, child or it's like a prosperous uh, son, hey, which then becomes a man. Of Israel, man, you know, uh, becomes a prosperous man of Israel, man, you know, because first it starts off with, you know, the law, statutes and commandments under Yahweh Bashim al Shai being a, a, a good man unto the Lord first, you know, in that example, um, uh, as you see within from King David unto King Solomon, so forth and so on. Right. But it says for the blessing of the father established the houses of the children, but the curse of the mother rooted thou foundations. Now, his father was the one to tell him, hey, son, you're going to be something. You know, you're going to be a champ. But then he, he clearly said his mom was the one to say, oh, you ain't shit. You ain't going to be shit. Now, how is it? How is a child, you know, supposed to supposed to take hearing that from uh, uh, his, his mom, man? You know, that's some that's sickening, man. That's why the scriptures clearly dictate and what it says. Matter of fact, I'm going to start here in the book of Job. This is Job 39 and 13. Gave his thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, because the scriptures say it better than us, man. Gave his thou the goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, right? Yahabashim al Shai. He gave the, the ostrich, you know, a less beautiful countenance, you know, because A is also an animal who exhibits behavior that are that are um that is far less beautiful A than the peacock, man. You know? When you look at an ostrich, what it's it's a bird that can't fly, you know. It's huge. It's awkward looking, you know. It, its feathers are all, all all black, black, gray, or white, right? Pretty basic colors, and it's not a, a beautiful bird to look at. When you look at the ostrich, you know it's it's it variated in colors, you know. It's it's a beautiful animal, you know. All of its its feathers are elongated. You know, it has when it uh, flails its feathers, it creates all a uh, mural in a sense, right? Beautiful creature. And it displays behavior as that. 
right? It says the ostrich flaps her wings grandly. It is the NLT, but they are no match for the feathers of the stork. And the stork is just uh, another bird who's graceful, right? Um, 14 in NLT, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust. And forgetteth that the foot may crush them or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, speaking of the ostrich, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. And that's the women of our nation as well, man. That's what this scripture is speaking about. When we read in the LT, it says she lays her eggs on top of the earth, letting them be warmed in the dust. She doesn't worry that a foot might crush them or that a wild animal might destroy them. Right? No regard for that actual child, man. And when you look at the, the animal kingdom and how the, the women of the animal kingdom, you know, the, it's like the, the females of the animal kingdom, how they raise their children, they're extremely protective. You know, they'll literally fight to the death. The death, man. Even the sea life, even the sea creatures, man, the same way, whether it's land, sea or air, they all do the same thing. You look at a lioness, how she protects her cubs. She'll die. Fighting a male over her cubs. You look at the polar bear, the female polar bear. Same. She'll fight a grown man, a grown male polar bear in order to save her babies. You look at the sea life. The octopus does not leave the egg side, even if it means she has to die. The same with other fish within the ocean. You have a uh, certain fish, and this is I just um, watched an animal documentary not too long ago. But I forgot the name of the fish. But um, basically, uh, these fish, the mother um, hatches the fish within her mouth, right? She holds the babies within her mouth, the eggs within her mouth, and they hatch out of her mouth. But Yahweh Shema Shai set it up to where, you know, um, <laughs> another fish, she'll um, uh, have eggs of another fish within the mouth as well. And that um, the other fish basically becomes a, a, a terror unto her native children. And they'll eat some of her babies. But she'll even be a mother unto the, the species that she didn't birth. <laughs> you know? It says she doesn't worry that a foot might crush them or a wild animal might destroy him. She is harsh toward her young as if they were not her own. She don't give a fuck about them. She doesn't care if they die. And as you've seen, she was literally willing to pay other kids in the neighborhood to beat her son up. To beat her son up, man. These are the women of our nation. She was willing to pay anybody to fight her son and to beat him up. She would pay them. That's some wicked shit, man. That's wicked. And you know what they say? Oh, it's, it's a bunch of sayings within the Israelite. Or I'd say black, man. Because Jake is, Jake is full of darkness. Oh, you look like your daddy. If they're not with the, the father of their children or the man sees that the, the woman isn't good anymore, you know, or or is lacking in areas. And they still want to be in their son's life, talking about the father, the woman will treat that son like shit because it comes from the seed of that man. Right. And that's just an example. It says for Yahweh has deprived her of wisdom. He has given her no understanding. So let's also go to that in uh, the book of Lamentation 4. Lamentation 4 and 3 says, Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. And that's plain, man. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. And as you see here, how cruel she was unto her son. Yeah, he's a chimp. Hey, but the, that, he's from the seed of that man, man. You know, his mom wasn't no boxer. Now, I don't know if his father was, hey, but I know that's his father's child, you know. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashim al you know, all had this plan hey, for him to be a world champion and hey, for him to be a boxer. But you see that how cruel this mother was, man. And he said all he wanted was the validation of his mother saying that he she loved him. And then they asked, what did she say? She said, oh, no, I ain't said." it. Hey, man. Hey, how about Shemel Shai has to, has to deliver us out of here, man? Hey, because it's, it's, it's millions of stories that's like this or worse, you know? Of 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 the Israelite woman raising a, a son that she has great disdain for. 
you know, great hatred towards. And he has to live that out. Hey, and then these same women complain about, oh, men ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Hey, but they're the ones raising these men. You're raising them with the qualities that you have within yourself. So you're really hating your behavior. Because you complain that the fathers are in the household. So it's you raising them with your morals and standards. And then not liking the way they turn out. This is your fault. Hey, that's why a... Hey, when we go into the book of Sirach 25 and, and the scripture says of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. This is what Eve wanted. Hey, this is the, the vision that the serpent gave unto her in the garden. You know, she's seen feminism. She's seen her rule in the household. She's seen government assistance. She's seen her, her man wasn't there and that she had to, hey, she was uh, making the money, the breadwinner, so to speak. She's seen all the, the, the you know, the, the, the beauty, hey, which was all facade, man. She's seen a uh, women's lib. She's seen a gynocentric society in which she ran and controlled under everything underneath uh, her, her counterpart Esau. And then she's seen her man in subjection a and down, man. And she and she ran with it. That's why this place has to, another reason as to why this place has to go down, man. Y'all by Shemal Shah has to destroy this place, man. You know, this is this is something that this is sickening. That's why the scriptures say we sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. This is just another example, man. We can go on and on. And you can never complain enough about the wickedness that goes on in Babylon. We're going to complain until we out of here, man. You know, hey, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto hey, the body. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Arakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yahweh. I'm bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.